What we're trying to do with this seminar series is effectively bring together some uh, uh, veterans, some experts in a variety of different sectors of the real estate market to give you a straight up uh, message as to what's really going on. There's a lot of information out there. Some of it's urban legend, some of it's real. And we figure why not go directly to the source, bring those sources together and help them uh, uh, help you to understand kind of what the state of the real estate market is. Um, I'm going to get into some numbers that we ran based on some of our research, taking a look at whether or not this double digit cap rate is uh, is a reality or whether or not it's like looking a uh, looking for a leprechaun. But before that, let me introduce you sort of everybody we have here on the, on the panel. We have Jack McCabe. Jack McCabe is based in the Boca Raton area, a place called Deerfield Beach. He's a national real estate uh, analyst expert. He's an expert witness. He, he appears uh, in quite a number of court cases, and I think that, that part of his business is really uh, growing up in a big way. Jack uh, previously worked for some large uh, home builders uh, uh, throughout the country. I'll let Jack tell you a little bit about him himself when he gets going. Next to Jack, we have Raul Valdez Fali. Raul runs the Miami Dade County. Um, uh, office of CNL Bank, Orlando-based institution. It's an institution that does a lot of commercial lending. We wanted uh, Raul to talk a little bit about the possibility of fractured condos. Is there financing available? Uh, are banks uh, getting ready to lend? Sort of what, what's the scenario there? We figured we'd have definitely have a banker. Next to uh, Raul, we actually have a developer, uh, Alan Ojeda. Uh, Alan built a tower called One Broadway. It's a straight rental tower. When everybody else was putting up condos, Alan was building a rental tower. It's right down the road from Segafredo's. He's also building an office tower right now, um, at, right Right at, I think it's 15th Road in uh, Brickell, Brickell Avenue. Is that right, Alan? 1450 Brickell. 14, 14, uh, 1450 Avenue. And then next to Alan, we have uh, James Donnelly. James is the founder and the owner of a company called the Castle Group. Castle Group has about 55,000 condominium and single family, or in, in uh, 55,000 uh, residents under management, whether they're condominiums or their uh, their houses within a um, uh, uh, an association, if you will. We wanted we wanted James to talk a little bit about what's going on in maintenance. Are people paying maintenance? And if they're not paying maintenance, what are the associations doing? Are there special assessments coming down the pike? Sort of what you know? What can you anticipate if you're an institutional or a private equity type of investor? What what, what do you need to sort of project or uh, as you go through on your performa? But before we sort of get started with all that, I want to I want to tell you some numbers or give you some numbers based on some research uh, we, we've done. We went through and we looked at 12 submarkets in the in the South Florida area, Palm Beach, Broward, Dade counties. We were looking at the median and the ask price on a rental basis for furnished and unfurnished. And one of the interesting things that really started to emerge as we did our as we did our research is there's about a 19 cents premium if you rent a, a, an apartment furnished versus unfurnished. So as people are out there looking for ways to kind of get that cap rate, to get, get some sort of return, uh, increasingly it looks as if you, if you go the furnished route, there might be a greater potential or greater opportunity for you to get closer to kind of numbers that you, you need to have. Um, of the 12 submarkets we were looking at, uh, roughly the average, uh, excuse me, the median uh, ask price um, for unfurnished is about $1.33 a square foot per month. When you look at the furnished, it's going to come out to about $1.52 a square foot per month. Now, as we work through some of the different submarkets, and it's kind of interesting, we looked at everything from Aventura to Boca Raton, Coral Gables, Delray, Fort Lauderdale, Greater Downtown Miami, which, by the way, uh, on a median ask price um, unfurnished, looks like it's coming in about $1.61, and they're actually renting for about $1.47. A lot of numbers. We can give you some of the numbers afterwards, but we want to kind of use these numbers uh, for the topic of conversation. Um, we, we have Hollywood, Hallandale, Kendall, Miami Beach, South Beach, Sunny Isles, and West Palm Beach. So there really is a whole variety of different numbers out there. But ultimately, the takeaway, I think, from what we did is if you run an apartment furnished versus unfurnished, you're going to look at a little bit of a premium. What we found is between 10 and 30% of the overall marketplace is made up of furnished product. Now, the question becomes, is only 10 to 30% of the overall uh, marketplace for rentals? And there's about 18,000 rentals in the Tri-County area. Why, why is so little um, furnished? We're not sure if that has to do with the fact that speculators or investors don't have the cash, don't want to dig in their pockets, don't think that there's a demand, or we don't we don't know if maybe there's just not enough demand and, and people have tried it before and they're, they're coming to come they're sort of coming to the conclusion that um, you know it's kind of a waste of time. Now, as you take these median uh, uh, rental prices and you look at what the ask is versus what they're closing, we're, we're finding the median ask in the in the Tri County area is about a dollar forty one. Uh, it's actually rented at about $1.33 unfurnished. When you look at the furnished product, uh, the ask is about $1.62, and it actually is rented for about $1.52. Now, if we look at the overall average and we try to take that average for, for rental, and we try to work backwards and say, what do I need to buy at in order for my rent to cover cash on cash what I just purchased in year one going out? Um, what, what we're seeing is that in order to get a 5% cap rate, based on a, uh, a rented median price of 133 a square foot unfurnished, you're, you're gonna need to buy it for about $115 a square foot. 
um, if you go towards a furnished product, uh, you, you're probably looking at about $1.44, $1.45 a square foot purchase price. That's all in. That's build out. That's everything else that's necessary. This, this is based on $0.50 cents a square foot per month maintenance. This is based on a 2.3% property tax assessed on your purchase price. And it's also based on a 10% vacancy. There is no uh, debt service whatsoever included in these <laughs> numbers. Now, for you to get a 10, a 10 cap, which everybody wants, everybody's looking for a double-digit uh, cap rate. I want a 10 cap. Unfurnished product, you're going to have to buy at about $68 a square foot all in. Um, if you want to look at furnace, you're looking. You're talking about eighty-four dollars a square foot all in. Now to get to that um, that that almost impossible fifteen cap, uh, which which some of the funds that Jack will probably talk about off of Wall Street are looking for, you're going to need to buy unfurnished at about forty-eight bucks a foot, and you'd have to buy furnished at about sixty bucks a foot.